Hello and welcome to Bernadette TV and in this episode we're talking about who is your ideal client. Now I'm going to explain to you just why it's so important to know the answer to this in just a moment but before I do I have a little secret I want to share with you. So I've been helping people to attract new clients and win more business for over 20 years now. I know I started out very very young um, and in that time any time I have this conversation about pinpointing who your ideal client is, I can encounter a little bit of eye rolling, groaning, oh Bernadette, that's just so basic. I've done all of that. I know who my customer avatar is. So I want to tell you something. First of all, getting clear on your ideal client and being able to specifically describe who it is you're really targeting, it's not boring and it's not basic. It is one of the most essential things that you can ever do in marketing. Let me give you an example. Um, I'm lucky enough to go and be part of a mastermind on Richard Branson's private island, Necker Island. And when I was on that trip last year, we had a break on one of the first mornings and I overheard a conversation from two multimillionaire business owners. So they're both doing over 10 million in annual revenues in their business. And one of them says to the other, you know, I guess what it all comes down to is really knowing what your customer wants and giving it to them. And I wish I'd had a camera or a video that I could have whipped out right at that moment to capture what these guys were talking about. Because here they are, these super successful multi-million dollar business owners, and yet they are still having a conversation about knowing their client. So I think it's a huge mistake for people to think, oh, that's basic and I can skip over that. Because when you really take the time to understand who your ideal client is, it transforms your marketing. So how it helped me, when I started to get really clear about who I'm talking to uh, through my business and through my communication, first of all, it eliminated writer's block because whenever I needed to write an email, a sales letter, an ad, a piece of video, I know exactly who I'm talking to. I can visualize that one person. I know where she is sitting and how she's looking at me. So you really want to get clear because um, often what people do is they, they're looking for marketing and they think, well, what would make a good ad? What would make a good headline? And my answer to that is you need to get really clear on the who and then you can get clear on the how. So my message to you today is to really take the time to identify who is your ideal client. Now, don't say everyone. I gave this exercise to someone uh, a few months ago and she works in the spiritual realm. And she said, but Bernadette, everybody can benefit from spiritual healing. And I said, I agree, that's true. But there are some people that are gonna be more predisposed to purchase your services than others. And so that's where you want to start to narrow down. If you try to sell to everybody, it gets super, super expensive. And you can't have a strong marketing message that really stands out if you're trying to talk to everyone all at once. So what I want you to do with this video is get really clear and I want you to write a description. Think of it if you were placing um, a personal ad. So I want you to describe a person. Tell me how old are they? Are they male or female? Where do they live? Do they have children? If so, what are their children's names? Do they have pets? If so, is it a cat? Is it a dog? Is it both an entire menagerie? And really take the time to think about your ideal client. Now, if you have clients already, you can think about someone who was your best client or your favorite client and use them as the example. If you're just starting out in business and you're not sure, you do the best you can. My motto is version one is better than version none. So you just start here and know that this is an exercise that you can refine over and over. I personally like to make sure I spend time every single day just imagining what it's like to be my ideal client because that helps me to tune in to what their challenges are, the problems are, their hopes, their aspirations, and it helps me to serve my clients better. So this is really gonna help you Please don't roll your eyes and try to skip over this and say it's too hard or it's too easy. Mm -hmm. This is business. This is marketing, knowing who your ideal customer is. So I hope I've inspired you and I want you to get to it. And feel free to share your comments in the comments below.
you like this video and want to see even more videos on how to get more clients, then keep watching.